Mr. Rector Magnificus. I will present my thesis on the economics of sustainable urban water management, the case of Beijing. As far as we know, urban pollution is growing fast, which is leading to dramatic increase of water consumption. However, water availability is limited. In terms of the literature, only 2.5% of uh, water belong to fresh water in the world. Additionally, climate variability and environmental pollution all at water prices in cities. My thesis will take the case of Beijing uh, for case study because Beijing is a typical city, uh, has water prices. From this figure we can find in Beijing the water consumption is larger than water availability. The up line is water consumption and the lower line is the water availability. So to solve the water scarcity problem, many new water systems have been constructed. And this constructing new systems may be technologically feasible, but they may not be financially and economically feasible. The obstacle to sustainable urban water management uh, are always from the non-technical problems, such as low cost recovery, um, lack of salt pricing system. So, my research aims to use economics to assess water system for sustainable urban water management. I will carry out economic and financial analysis on the existing water system and the new water system. I would like to see whether the new system can operate in long term and whether the new system is economically viable uh, alternatively to the existing system. Uh, the main methodology in this thesis is cost-benefit analysis. Additionally, the methods of linear programming and rough set analysis are employed. In this thesis, we take into consideration that different decision makers with different viewpoints may have different judgments on the same thing. So in this thesis, I make a financial analysis and economic an analysis from public perspective and private perspective. Uh, the financial analysis is carried out from the point of view of project manager. It includes financial cost analysis and financial benefit analysis. In uh, economic analysis, we will carry out from the point of view of the government or society. In economic analysis, the economic, environmental, and social effects caused by water systems are all taken into consideration. In Beijing, to solve water crisis problem, uh, two main measures uh, is implemented. One is wastewater reuse, another one is rainwater harvesting. So in my thesis, I will focus on uh, study of two, these two systems. Wastewater reuse means reclaim with the green water and then reuse it in industry, domestic, and uh, agriculture. And rainwater harvesting is collect rainwater and then reuse it for various purposes. First, we talk about wastewater reuse system. Uh, the wastewater reuse system includes two kinds of system. One is decentralized system, another is centralized system. Decentralized system means uh, it collects and treat uh, reclaim green water and then reuse it on site. Normally, decentralized system has small scale and capacity. And another kind of system is centralized system. The centralized system collects wastewater from different hotel, school, institute, and then uh, treat it in the large plant and then reuse it. Uh, normally, centralized system it has large scale and capacity. This is the picture of a uh, decentralized uh, water, wastewater reuse system. It's located in the residential area. And this is the picture of a uh, central, centralized wastewater reuse system. It, it is called Gaobeidian plant. It is the largest plant in Beijing. The result shows that decentralized system is economically feasible, but it is not financially feasible. It means from the point of view of uh, government, decentralized system it has positive effect on the society. It deserves to be promoted. 
However, from the point of view of project manager, they don't want to operate it continually. And the result of centralized system shows that the centralized system is both economically and financially feasible. That is, from both private and public perspectives, centralized systems are deserved to be promoted. Now we turn to rainwater harvesting system. In the rural area of Beijing, generally groundwater is the main water resources for agricultural irrigation. So rainwater is relatively new to farmer. Uh, generally rainwater is used for implementing the agricultural irrigation water. This is the figure of a uh, rainwater harvest system. The storage tank collect the rainwater and then they transfer to the greenhouse for agricultural irrigation. Okay, from this is the greenhouse and the uh, storage tank is underground. And in rainwater harvest system, I also use two parts of analysis. The economic analysis is same. It includes economic, environmental, and social uh, effects analysis. But in financial analysis, it's a little bit different. I will compare the financial situation of using groundwater and using rainwater. In here, the criteria of financial feasibility is that whether the using rainwater is financially more attractive than using groundwater. The economic financial results show that rainwater harvest systems are all economically feasible. It means rainwater harvest system, uh, from the, the point of view of uh, government, rainwater harvest systems are deserved to be promoted. However, the financial uh, analysis shows different results. We can find if groundwater is no charge, rainwater harvest systems are not financially feasible. And I assume groundwater is charged at 2 yuan per kilometer, and then only the large size of system are financially feasible, while small and medium sized system are not financially feasible. I also carry out further analysis. One is the linear programming, and other one is rock set analysis. The result of linear programming shows that uh, increasing subsidies on the initial investment or enlarge the size of storage tank can improve the financial feasibility of rainwater harvesting system. And the rough set analysis found that there are two quite critical factors uh, can affect the performance of rainwater harvest system. One is uh, if farmer ducts on the water quality and then rainwater harvest system cannot operate successfully. Another uh, factor is if the place is um, the, the, the groundwater in that place is shortage and the rainwater harvest system in that place could operate successfully. So through the case study of Beijing, I can get some conclusions. The first one is we found the new systems are financially, uh, economically feasible, but they are not financially feasible. But the existing systems are both financially and economically feasible. So uh, the new systems are not uh, economically viable uh, alternatively to the existing system. And we also found uh, financial and social problems have negative influence on the operation of water systems. So the strategy of urban water management should change from a physical management to a serious sustainable urban water management. This research has three uh, main contributions. The first contribution is it is the first integrated and quantitative analysis uh, of economic environmental and social effects of water systems. And the second solution is we try to uh, identify the non-technical problems in uh, water systems and help decision makers to make choices that are consistent with long-term well-being. And the third contribution is 